Hey guys, it's Michelle. Thank you so much to my new subscribers and for all the likes and positive comments you've been leaving on my channel. It really helps to grow my channel, so thank you so much. Today, I'm going to share with you how to get hired in luxury retail. If you're new to me, I used to work for Louis Vuitton, so I share all the info I know about what it's like to work at Louis Vuitton. I'm sorry about the background noise. There's a pool party going on downstairs. To tell you the truth, I never expected to work full-time retail. I was just at a point in my life where I needed to do something and I thought, hey, let me try to get into the largest luxury retailer in the mall. And I did, so I took the job. <laughs> and at the time, I actually had offers from Vuitton, John Hardy, Tiffany, and Laura Mercier. And I picked Vuitton. And then I, I wondered, oh my gosh, should I, have picked, should I have picked John Hardy? I would have loved to work for Tiffany, but they weren't paying much at all. So anyhow, I got this job the old school way and take this advice for really any job that you're looking for. Networking is key. If you know somebody, talk to them and have them introduce you to the hiring manager. Now with the luxury retailers, what I did and I, what I suggest you do, dress nicely, dress the part of the place that you're interviewing for. And this could be just as simple as a black or navy pantsuit or slacks and a blouse. Just look professional. And if you don't know what that is, find out what that is. Don't be wearing any mini skirts or showing off your biceps or your cleavage. Just dress professional. Look at the part of Vuitton. If it's luxury retail, it's going to be black or navy. Makeup is very simple. They don't want you to be outlandish with your makeup. Warm tones, pink lipstick. We weren't even allowed to do our nails. Our nails had to be either French manicure or pale pink. So I couldn't do all my glittery designs that I love to do. All these things matter. Like don't go overboard with your hair or makeup. Just think about like very conservative. Like you're going to church. Maybe a step up from going to church. <laughs> they, they didn't really care if you were fashion forward. Have a paper resume. Paper resumes really still do work. And just walk into the store, ask for the hiring manager. Ask them if they're hiring. Tell them you're looking for a sales position or an operations position or a manager position, whatever you're looking for, and hand them your resume. Make sure you look nice. Make sure your makeup's done, your hair is good, your teeth are brushed, and be courteous, professional. If you have to wait for someone, wait for someone. I guarantee you, it helps. That is actually how I got my offer in Tiffany. I had come in and dropped off my resume, and I think a week later, I walked in again to check up on it, and the lady, recognized me and she said, oh, Michelle, I was waiting for you to come in because I think she had left my resume somewhere and forgot. <laughs> so it does help people do remember you. I actually have a couple of clients who would ask me constantly, how do I get a job here? How do I get a job here? And I would tell them straight up, like I'm very straightforward and I don't sugarcoat things. Like I told her like, you have to dress up when you walk in here. She would always come in her yoga pants, tank top, totally fine. I'm not judging her, but I had to tell her if you're looking for a job and they know this, then I need you to walk, like I need you to look professional so that they know how professional you look if they decide to hire you and put you on the floor. Cause you're not being judged at the interview portion. You're being judged the second that they see you. And this is more important than your resume. Update on her. She eventually did get a seasonal position and unfortunately i don't think it was what she expected and when she was brought on board she i wasn't there anymore she had actually reached out to me and i told her exactly what i told you about when you interview talk about creating a customer experience that's the most important thing and she really was a fan of the brand so she had a lot to contribute in terms of helping people select bags with her knowledge of Louis Vuitton history. But she really did expect to go from seasonal to uh, permanent. And unfortunately that didn't happen. I don't think she expected all of that. And sadly, since they didn't keep her, she didn't get her employee discount. For me, I went through a rigorous interview. It was like I was interviewing for the CIA. I probably interviewed five times. I actually interviewed at a flagship boutique with three managers in a row. So that's how I knew I was doing well, because if they didn't like you, they'd just stop at one. But they made me wait for the next and the next. And the main thing you need to talk about is how to create an experience for your customer, how to create a luxurious environment, and how to get them to want to come back. It wasn't about buying bags, it was about having the Vuitton experience of walking in and feeling like we were throwing roses at their feet, and all the things they get to experience, like the perfumes, and the shoes, and other things besides bags. 
which would make them feel so good and like, I wanna come back and bring my friends. That is the main thing you have to talk up when you're talking about customer service. So I know some people that worked in food service that were in Vuitton, their first job in retail. They also really emphasize customer service, customer experience, and if you know how to present yourself in that way, they will really pay attention to you. And if you don't get the job the first time, keep trying. Retail is a revolving door. People come and go. And I worked in one of the biggest and busiest malls, so they would just kind of hop from one store to another. The door is always revolving. Same in corporate. If, if there's a job that you want, maybe it will get filled, but it might open up a few months later. So just keep trying. Now, if you want to work in Vuitton just to see what it's like, I do highly recommend just doing a seasonal position to see if you like it and to see what it's like and see if that turns into something else. Part-timers have to work just as hard as full-timers. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll just do like a fun little part-time job in addition to what I'm doing, it's probably going to be more draining than you actually think it's going to be. <laughs> Part-timers now have to work just as hard to maintain their business as full-timers, but it might be a little harder because they're not there five days a week. They might be there only two days a week and don't have as much time to follow up with their clients, but the sales goals are still pretty high. It might be a good way to fund your collection if you really, really want to work in Louis to get that employee discount, but be ready to work. It's not like having a part-time job at Nordstrom's or Macy's where you can pop in as support and help out and get your employee discount. It's really a lot more detailed than that. You are running your own business, which means they step back and don't help you much. <laughs> You're in charge of your clients, what your clients want, getting their inventory, ringing, selling, telling them the story, following up, make sure they come back. So yeah, this is really running your own business and it's not for the faint at heart except you're not paid like you're running your own business. So when I was told that these demands were now being made for part-timers, that's really tough. So think about that too, if we're taking a part-time job at Louis, are you in a position where you can only work part-time and focus on it? Or is it something you just do for fun and think, oh, I'm just gonna be here to help out as support for the other employees, which usually how a part-time job works, but not the case with Louie. There are different positions you can take. I had a client advisor position, which is on the sales floor. The other position you can take is operations. There are people that chose operations and there are also people that chose to move from client advisor to operations where you don't have the pressures of the sales, like hot stamping, stocking the boxes, unpacking the shipment every day when it came in, twice a day, fulfilling online orders, things like that where you deal less with the public. Doesn't mean you don't do it with the public. At busy times, you'd be ringing on the cashier. Take in returns, and you know with returns there's a lot of complaints. <laughs> so my personal background, I had spent my at least two years in retail previous to Vuitton working part-time in cosmetics. So I was able to really talk about creating that customer experience. I worked for a specific cosmetics brand, not for the store. So my job was to go into the different department stores in my region and help them book events and help them sell, basically. So I was really able to talk about how good I was at booking people to sit down for an event and the experience they felt. It wasn't just buying lipstick, it was like, I'm being glamorized, I'm being glamorized. So that was my personal thing. So like I said, if they really just wanna hear how you can connect with people and how you can make them feel a part of Vuitton or whatever store that is that you're looking to work at. And also when you are interviewing for any job, be sure to have your questions to ask as well, whatever it may be. Ask about the benefits, ask about the hours that you're going to get, ask about upward mobility, meaning promotions. One thing I can tell you that I witnessed and other people have said, and I've even seen this on Glassdoor, that Vuitton does not promote from within. It's very difficult. Just being there, I saw managers that I thought worked really hard and were really good at what they do. They were continually being passed up for promotions where the store manager was bringing in people that she knew that she worked with from other stores. And I continually saw this happening, not just in my store, but in other stores. And it's really not fair. And that's important in any job you're in. If you want to stay in one position or if you want that upward mobility, 
Sometimes they just tell you yes to appease you. But I have interviewed at places where the answer has been like, there's no place for you to move up here. So make sure they're honest with you about that and learn how the job will benefit you as well. So if you think it's gonna be all fun, <laughs> make sure you watch my other videos. Anyhow, so I've told you a lot about the job and what to expect just because, you know, I don't want to sugarcoat it for anyone. Retail is, is hard. Retail is hard wherever you are, whether it's Mac, Macy's, Nordstrom, Louis Vuitton. You do have to learn how to deal with people. But by far, Louis has been like the craziest environment I had ever worked in. But again, it fits your dream. And if you just want to try it, I definitely encourage just to see what it's like and so if you watch this point of the video thank you so much and please leave a like and a positive comment they really do help to grow my channel my name is michelle thank you bye